Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Welcome to this lesson on tongue blocking. I'm using a C diatonic harmonica in today's lesson, and I'm going to be talking about what tongue blocking is and how to do it and some of the advantages of it as well. And I'll also give you a little sneak peek of my premium course. So what is tongue blocking? Well, Technically, it's just a way of achieving clean single notes on the harmonica, which is the most basic build building block of music. So we all have to choose one way or another of getting those notes, and tongue blocking is one of those methods. So how do we achieve tongue blocking? Well, it can be a little bit counterintuitive at first, and that's why most people start with a different technique called puckering or lip pursing. But there are certain advantages to tongue blocking that I'll talk about in a bit. So it's uh, something that some people decide to give a go and can give you certain benefits. So let's have a go at playing a tongue block. So what's going on, as the name suggests, is your tongue is actually blocking certain notes on the harmonica. So it's usually a four hole width. So that means your mouth is over, for example, holes one to four. So let's say we're playing hole four. If we were puckering, we'd be doing a kind of almost like a whistle shape. We're getting our mouth really nice and small to isolate a single hole. Now with a tongue block, it's a lot wider um, so you might think, well, you get multiple notes, like holes one to four. But then the tongue goes on and blocks all of those holes except one. So if we're on holes one to four, your tongue needs to block one, two, and three. So you can hear the note reduced down to a single note there. So just the same sound as you'd get from a pucker just at this stage. Um, but achieved in a different way. A lot of people find this difficult. Some people will actually find it more easy. So I hope for those who get in that eureka moment, ah, that's how I get single notes, that that's helpful. Um, in terms of the tongue position, I find if I think with the tip of my tongue and I basically go as far left as I can down to hole one, then it kind of naturally covers one, two, and three. So I'm feeling the tip is, is in hole one. If you kind of want to feel more the top of the tongue where that's going, you're going to feel it more over two and three. But the important thing is to take it slow and experiment and try and listen out for that single note. Really key thing I want to mention is that you never blow hard. You don't blow any harder than you would with a pucker, a lip purse or any other note. So what you might get the sound of when you're trying to do this is a kind of where you're really forcing the air. Blow, blowing harder won't actually help you at all. So try to remember that it's all about the positioning. That's the biggest mistake that most people make with learning to tongue block, I think, in my experience, is they're trying to force it through, brute force, to get the note to play. And actually, if you pay more attention to the positioning of the tongue, then you'll get it quicker. It's difficult because you can't see the position, so you're kind of having to visualize it. So take your time with that. I recommend starting with that four blow note. And then once you've done that, it's worth trying the C major scale. So in case you don't, uh, you're not familiar with the C major scale, I've put the tab on the screen for you there. So we've got four blow, four draw, five blow, five draw, six blow, six draw, seven draw, seven blow. And what you're aiming to achieve is just a really basic single note version of that scale, just as you would if you were learning it with any other mouth shape. And I recommend you take your time with this to the point where you don't move on to the next note until you've got the current note correct. So if you get it perfect, I'm uh, setting myself up to fail here, but if you get it perfect, it should sound like this. I think I got away with it. <laughs> but when you're practicing this, it'll probably sound more like this. So I'm going to mess some of the notes up and I'm going to only move on once I've corrected them so you can get a sense of what your practice should sound like. So.
you know, and so on. So you kind of, the point is you're trying to correct before you move on. So that's your C major scale. That's a really good place to start. But then we come up against something that is, well, it's really down to you and what you'd like to achieve. So the benefits of the harmonica or using tongue block with the harmonica tend to be felt from hole four upwards. And I will get on to talking about what those benefits are, but you might want to decide, well, maybe if I'm already puckering lip pursing holes one to three, then you could keep that because really those holes, they sound pretty similar whether you pucker or whether you tongue block them. So if you decide to be what I call a mouth shaped mongrel where you're using a bit of both, that could be a changeover position from a lip purse to a tongue block, holes three to four, which means you need to practice that in itself. So I'd recommend a simple little practice. You can see the tab of three draw with a lip purse or pucker and then four blow tongue blocked and then three blow with a lip purse and then four draw tongue blocked. So it would sound like this. just those notes. But if you look a little closer, you can see that I'm I'm actually changing my mouth shape to a, to um, the tongue block when I get to hole four. So you need to practice that transition if you want to make it smooth later on. So why would you go to all this bother of tongue blocking? Well, there are certain sounds that tongue blocking helps with. So let me give you a demo, something like this. You know, that sort of thing. So one of the key things it's really useful for is tongue slapping where you're actually kind of getting a rhythmic backing as I was doing then. Other things that it helps with are things like flutters or sweeps. It can also help with your transitioning into octave splits, which you might also or already play with a pucker. So a classic one would be Duke, Little Otter. Now it can be difficult to move between single notes and an octave if you're lip pursing. So it can help with that transition as well. Um, further up the harmonica, it helps you get really big octaves and it helps you to get a nice tone on those higher notes. None of that is to say that there's anything wrong with lip pursing, puckering. Um, some people make a career out of harmonica and never tongue block. So you don't need to, but especially for amplified classic kind of rhythm and blues, there is a sound, there's a tone that is associated with tongue blocking. And if you'd like to, to emulate that sound, then it can be really useful. So with that in mind, I've put together a premium course on all of those tongue blocking techniques. And if you'd like to find out more and pursue this technique in more detail, then do check the link beneath the video. Uh, remember also, if you've enjoyed this video, to click like and subscribe to my channel. I put out free harmonica lessons every week and you liking and subscribing really helps grow my channel and it helps me to continue making these videos and I love making them, so do consider supporting that as well. Thank you so much for studying with me today and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.